Okay, so here's the story of the Freemax MaxPod. So I got these into my office for review and I saw them and they just they just looked so cool. I had such high hopes for them. I really, really wanted these to replace my Cali burn for like a little pocketable, mouth to lung, refillable pod guy that I could put like six milligram in and just, that's my pod, like treat it like the Cali burn. And this little red one right here was the first one I opened cause I love red. I just opened it, filled it up, started using it. And for the first like, 15 to 20 toots, it was great. I was getting a nice mouth to lung, nice resistance on the airflow. And then the battery started doing this thing that some auto batteries do on other pods and it just, it doesn't fire. When you take a drag on it, you see the little light bulb right here, light bulb. You'll see a little LED light illuminate when you're taking a drag on it. And it kind of vapes and then it kind of doesn't. It does that thing where if you don't drag hard enough, it'll just stop firing mid toot, mid drag. It's hyper frustrating, it's super annoying, and I was ultimately just really bummed out. So I decided to open up another one, and this one actually works fine. It actually works perfect and, and fires every single time I take a drag. So I thought, well shit, I've got one that works really well, one that barely works at all. So I have a third one right here that we're gonna do a real quick short up and close time. We're gonna set it up and see if it has that same non-firing battery issue. Batty issue? I'm not doing another take. Battery issue. Quick short up and close time, let's go. <clears throat> all right, yeehaw. Well, as you saw, these are the two Max pods that I've been using. This is the one that works well and this is the one that works bad but I wanted to set one other one up completely from scratch. And when I opened this one up, I really wish I had set this one up first. The black and the white look so much cooler. I like these, I like this finish on here, and I really like this like hard beveled edge on here. It kind of reminds me of the old iPhone 4, which I really, really like. But this white and black Stormtrooper, dude. That just looks cool. So it comes pre-installed with a one ohm coil. This is the 1.5 ohm coil. This is the coil head. This is your silica pack. I've been using those other two with just the one ohm coil. So I wanted to try the one and a half ohm coil just for fun. I just wanna see if this battery has the same issues that I was having with that other battery. What else do you get in the box? I might as well show everybody that. Mini USB-C for charging. Uh, why they didn't use USB-C, I have no idea. And an instruction manual. For for filling and usage and the such as. And a lanyard, and a lanyard uh, clip thing. Oh, I see, it goes on like this. Yeah, and you can clip uh, you can clip a lanyard on there. Be sure not to put this over either of these holes because that's where your airflow is coming from. Went and bought some old school Halo e-liquid, Torque 56, six milligram. Just gonna put, I don't know, like four drops down the center of this. One two, three, four, ah, five. You just kind of let that sit, just, just just let it soak in. And like I said, these are just press fit in here and just make sure that your airflow is pointing off to the sides like that. You're gonna get the best experience that way. Press it in. PCTG plastic, two mil capacity, little rubber uh, stopper right here. Now this is the annoying part. I wish this kind of swiveled out of the way so that it would just, you know, be out of the way while you're filling it, but it's not. You kind of have to do that thing where you hold your finger like this, and then you can fill it up. This is a pretty dark, smoky tank, and it's one of those ones you kind of have to hold it at an angle because that coil head is taking up a big portion of the middle of it. So if you want to get it completely full, you kind of have to do a little bit of a dance and get the juice where you need it to. And we're filling and we're filling and I think we're basically full. It's honestly really hard to tell. Oh no, there you can see it. You can see the liquid line. Okay. 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 I'm going to call that good. I don't, I don't want liquid everywhere. I just put my light right here and you can see, oh yeah. Okay. There you go. Well, I didn't get it quite full. There's, there's a little bit of a bubble up there. This is one of those things when you're filling it up, you kind of have to, like I showed you, you just, you, you twist it, you tilt it, you make sure it gets all the way full. The liquid's going to go like I, like you just saw all the way up into the mouthpiece here, all the way up into that 
whistle tail. Snap this in and that's it. I mean, that's literally really all there is to it. The only thing you have to keep out, keep an eye out for is it's an auto draw and your airflow comes from this little hole here. It'll be easier to show you on the stainless, this little hole and this little hole right there. So when you're holding it, just try not to, to cover those unless you want to, which we'll talk about in a second. You can kind of adjust the airflow on this if you're so inclined by covering up some of these holes when you're vaping it. So I got the good green one, the, the bad red one, and then hopefully the good white and black one as well. So the only thing we can do from here is get back out to normal view and vape the damn things. Boosh, there it is. I love the way this looks. I love the white on black. I love these like hard lines. I hate the mini USB or the micro USB there. I don't know why they didn't do USB-C, but I already said that. So as you saw, this is the 1.5 ohm mesh coil head in here. I got it filled up with that Halo Torque 56 and the verdict is <laughs> same issue as the red battery. It just sporadically fires and doesn't fire consistently like my green battery does. It goes in and out and in and out unless you drag, I mean, uncomfortably hard on it. You can lung it and get it to fire, but this is a mouth to lung product and I want it to just fire and work as a mouth to lung. Barely, that was like, not fire, fire, not fire, not fire, fire, not fire, not fire, fire. It's hyper obnoxious, hyper obnoxious. The only workaround I've found for it, and this is not an acceptable workaround. This should just work, in my opinion, right out of the box as advertised. You can hold it in a certain way as to cover up one of those little airflow holes that I showed you in the uppy closey. If you hold it like this and put your thumb over one of the airflow holes, it will work. Smoothly and consistently fires throughout your drag. In fact, putting your finger over that little airflow hole actually stiffens up the draw a little bit. As it stands, as it stands stock, it's it's a really good mouth to lung. Feels nice. Almost perfect for me. If you cover up one of the airflow holes, if you have a funky battery that's malfunctioning and that's why you're sitting here at this video wondering why your Freemax Max Pod battery isn't working, just try sticking your finger over one of those airflow holes. Alternatively, you can kind of hold it in such a way like this as to cover up both airflow holes and then it will fire also really consistently and it will really stiffen up the draw. I mean, almost too much stiffen up the draw. So that bums me out. The whole the whole Max pod from Freemax kind of bums me out. They look so cool. I love the styling of it. I like the pods. I like the coil heads. I like the little comfortable sort of whistle tip on there. And the flavor is honestly really nice on these. Freemax makes good coil heads. They've never not made good coil heads. Never not made good coil heads. All right. They've always made really good, nice, flavorful, consistent coil heads. These coil heads are great. I guess at the end of the day, I'm just upset that the batteries don't fire as they should. I can only review what I have in front of me and two out of the three that I have don't work. This one is great. And if this was the only one that I had received, I would be raving about it. I'd be saying all sorts of nice things like, oh, it's a Caliburn killer. It's completely replaced my Caliburn. Vape so well, it's got such a great draw. The Freemax coil heads, oh, they're so great. It's just really hard for me to recommend this, seeing that my batteries are so inconsistent. Now, are you gonna need your vape budget hands if you decide that you wanna check out the Freemax Max Pod? Not really. Clicking around the internet, you can kind of find them between like 25 and 30 bucks, so no real vape budget hands needed. Now, if we're gonna play the Aliens game or the FDA game where they come and take everything I have, I got nothing left to vape, is the Freemax Max Pod something I'm gonna seek out and buy right away? Look, if I could get guaranteed a working battery, then yeah, it's a great little pod, but as it stands, it's so inconsistent, I wouldn't know. It's just like gambling. It's like pulling the lever and seeing if a good battery comes out of the slot machine. I'm sticking with it. That analogy works. And of all the three that I have, why couldn't you be the one that works? So yeah, that's where I'm gonna leave that. Just wildly inconsistent, but when it does work, 
It's honestly a pretty great little vein. That's what I got for today, everybody. Thank you guys, seriously, so much for watching. Remember, no matter what anybody tells you, vaping is still at least 95% less harmful for you than burning deadly combustible tobacco cigarettes. So yeah, absolutely, you guys. Let's keep on vaping. <laughs>